Hello my friend and welcome to my channel Faisal Azib. I hope that you are well. So as I just said in the last video, let's now implement the functionality of playing the game again. And actually I will leave that as a challenge for you, because uh, this is already a great time for you to practice what you have been learning in this section. Now, before I give you the challenge, we first need to fix something else, which is that we would, uh, for example, actually hide, of course, uh, the secret number. So right now, as we load the page, the number gets visible, but instead, that should, of course, not happen. So we don't want this here, right? So this is where we set the text content. Uh, of the number to the secret number. Instead, we want this to happen when the player actually gets the correct number. So let's just cut it uh, from here and uh, move it. What is it? Here, sorry. Let's just cut it. Tack. Okay. And uh, I move it in a situation where the players win the game. So from here, directly. Okay? Good. So, now we display the secret number, and then we also display the correct number. And so now you see that we are uh, back to having this uh, question mark. So let's uh, try. Now we don't know what is the current number. 15, too low. Ah, 17, too low also. Uh, 19. Good. That's a really game because now we are no longer now about the secret number. And so now our secret number is also visible here and the high score, by the way, is also working. So let's just reload the page and uh, do that again to try. So let's uh, see 15, too low, 17, too high, so it is 16. Indeed, so the game itself is really working. And so now it's time to implement the functionality of this again button, which uh, will basically reset here this entire interface. In between parentheses, as you can see, I have increased the, the font size. In the visual uh, studio to see uh, more uh, useful the code okay it's for you of course huh? let's go back so let's go to the challenge i have uh, for you here and so as i just said the challenge is to implement the game reset functionality so that the player can basically play again and then here i am giving, giving you all the steps to implement this functionality in order to make it a little bit easier and not too overwhelming Okay? Now, if you don't want the steps, then I'll just uh, pause the video now and try to implement it on your own. But probably, at this point, it's better to get step-by-step -step receipt of what you need to do. So first, select the element which the GAN class and then attach a click event handler. Okay? So if you come back to HTML, you will see here the GAN class. Okay, so that's exactly what we did uh, before with the uh, check button. Okay, and so now I want uh, you to do the same with the gain button and try to see if you can remember how to do that instead of copying it from this other button. Then, once you have that event attached, that action restore the initial value of the score and the number variable. So that uh, that our two state variable of the application basically remember so the variable that holds the score and the variable that holds the secret number then also also say also restore the issue condition the page number and the score and also of the best input field so basically when we click here is uh, here be again remember the input and also we should see the beginning message so here the score should go uh, show back to 20 and here also should be uh, the question mark and it was before and then to finish of course also restore the original background color 
and the width of this number here okay so we'll just take a couple of minutes and try to do this and i see you in few seconds inshallah so let's pause all right so hopefully you managed to, to do this now it's uh, my turn of doing the work so we start as i said with selecting the button okay so document dot create selector create a selector and then it is a button with class again okay so just uh, showing that to you again it is this one okay good again sorry i'm not okay again now i will add an event listener add event listener okay and i am just using auto copy it here because that's uh, how a developer do it then remember the name of the event is a click event okay and then we need to specify a function function okay good oops good so this is our handler function right and by the way we also say that this is an anonymous function because it does have it doesn't have a name so remember how uh, i said before that usually we assign this function expression to a variable right and then the function gets a name but in this case well there is really no name for this function we didn't call it anything right and so it is just an anonymous handler function anyway let's now go here to step number two and so what we need to do here is to restore the initial value of the score and the score number so it is the score is 20 okay So the score at the beginning of the game should always be 20, right? And then we also need a new secret number. So let's just uh, get uh, that from uh, here. But, of course, here what I will do. So we don't need to calculate this over again. So we just need uh, basically to assign the value to secret number okay so doing this the same calculation here again now if you want to assign a value to this number it cannot be constant all right so i must change it to let okay it's very important so let's just copy this i have to do it and again without the let because we don't want to create new secret number number uh, variable all you want to do is a uh, new game start is to create a new second number and then you assign the variable okay and then down here is where i assign this value to secret number okay next up i want to restore the initial condition of a message number score and the guess input field so that's again copy this message We have also uh, want also the score, of course. Okay, right. So here the string is start guessing. Okay, something like this, if I remember, start guessing. Okay. And we basically can get this from the HTML if you want. Huh? So this is the initial condition of the message, right? Then we also want to change uh, the score. So let's just grab uh, the score lightly here. It is 20, the initial value. Or actually, we can just set it to uh, the score. The same thing. 
so to this variable because also already hold the number 20 and so that's be a bit better than to repeat the same value so instead we are just referencing it here next up we also want to change the number so that's going to be uh, this question mark where is the number number where are your number number this one okay so in this number we put the question mark okay and finally we also want to change the value that's here to empty so let's copy uh, the value of the guess where is the guess what are you this one okay so this one uh, what will be, what will, uh, will, uh, will be here empty okay so I just write like this empty so simple so basically into nothing because that's the empty value here remember that the value of an input is always a string and so the empty string is basically the absence of any value here okay and now to finish all we need to do is to restore the background and the width of the number so basically what we did in the last video but redo it once uh, we start new again new game so i'm just copying uh, the what is it this one this both this time to restore to the initial value okay So here, uh, the number is, uh, you can see it, huh? in the style of course, where is it, for the body, this one, okay, we copy it, like this, is the first thing, good, so dark grey, and here it is, remember, 15 uh, RM, like this, okay, and with this, we should have restored all the initial condition, which will then make it possible to play the game again without reloading the browser and that's going to be important later once we implement a high score because then we will be able to play over and over again without reloading the page which will then allow us to preserve this uh, high score here through to the different rounds so let's just uh, play the game so just uh, do it And that we can uh, finish to play again. 15, too low. So here, 17. Oh, it's too low again. 18. Good. <clears throat> so we get the correct number. So that's nothing new. But now, look, when I click in again button, everything should be restored. Indeed, everything is back to the same. And of course, we can also do that while we are already playing the game. Okay? So, here, before to, I mean, before to win, let's uh, do 12. Here, I am not uh, winning the game, so we can do it again. Restore again. And now, when I click again, this mission should go to what it was. This should go back to uh, 20. And should also empty this field. So you see that exactly what happens. Great. So that uh, what was uh, hopefully a lot of fun for you. And even if you did not uh, manage to do all of it on your own, it was still important that you try to do some of this uh, because it actually was kind of just repeating or reinforcing the stuff that uh, we already did before. And hopefully, you didn't just copy all of it, like I just uh, did because. As you are learning, the best thing to do is to really type all the code on your own, because that will then make it stuck in your brain. So, in your muscle memory. So, to say, okay? Anyway, now, inshallah, in the next video, we will then finally implement this uh, high score functionality here. 
and with that we will then have our game completed inshallah so take care of us i hope to see you in the next video tell you goodbye assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh